So I've been a fan of your podcast for a long time. You don't often talk about it because you're always kind of looking forward. But if you look at the old studio they just left, is there some epic memories that stand out to you that you, like, you almost look back, I can't believe this happened? Oh, yeah. Almost too many of them to count. Is there something yeah. that pops into mind now? All of them. Elon Musk blowing that flamethrower in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> I got a video of that. Have you ever seen the video of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. he posted on Instagram. I think I did too. Yeah, he's a madman. Um, having Bernie Sanders in there, uh, you know, just uh, all the fun fight companions we did and all the, the crazy podcasts with Joey Diaz and Duncan Trussell. And the, there were so many. There were so many moments, you know. It's... um. Podcast is this is a weird art form, and it almost seems like it sounds silly, but it almost seems like something that chose me rather than I chose it. I think of that all the time in some strange way. It's like I'm 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 showing up as like a, an antenna, and I just plug in and twist twist on, and then I I take in the thing and I put it together, and I I'm a, like a passenger of this weird ride. Yeah, I th you you've talked about this before. I really like this idea of that human beings are just carriers of these ideas. Yeah. Like ideas are the ones who are breeding. Yeah. So in a sense, like the idea found you as a useful brain to use to spread itself through the podcasting medium. It's yeah. Like something that, that's a, on the, but because when I think about your podcast, I think about Joey Diaz. I think about all those comedians you've had. I mean, I think you've had Joey on, I mean, maybe close to, I don't know, 50 times, 60, sure, some, some crazy number. Is there... I mean, he is over the top offensive, just that's who he is to the core. Is there some sense where you you wondered like whether it's right to have the Spotify episode number one with Duncan Dressel <laughs> for five hours? No, what, no I what's... wanted to do it that way. That's why we wore NASA suits and we got high as fuck. It's like, that's the whole idea behind it. I mean, can you introspect that a little bit? Like, can you think, like, what is that? Because that's rare. It's it's such a rare thing to do because they're, 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 you're not supposed to talk to Duncan Trussell with a huge platform that you have for five hours. Why not? <laughs> because Donald Trump apparently watches your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just the idea that there's these, I mean, that's what I think about, you know, these CEOs write to me that they listen to the podcast that 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 I do. And I have somebody like a David Fravor. Mm -hmm. And I was nervous about it. I was nervous to have a conversation. For me, David Fravor is a Duncan Trussell, which is like... Just because of his uh, experiences with uh, UFOs. Yeah. yeah. just Even just the way he sees the world, because he is open. I don't know if he's always like this, but he opened himself to the possibility of unconventional ideas. Mm -hmm. Most people in the scientific community kind of say, well, I don't really want to believe anything that doesn't have a lot of hard evidence. Right. And so that was to me like a step. And as the thing somehow uh, becomes more popular, there becomes this fear of like, well, sh should I talk to this person or not? And I mean, you're an inspiration in saying like, do whatever the hell you want. You have to. Well, first of all, I have what you call fuck you money. And if you have fuck you money, you don't say fuck you. What's the point of having the fuck you money? You're wasting it. Like you're wasting the position. Like someone said to me, like, uh, why do you why do you like sports cars so much? Like how many cars do you have? A bunch of cars. Like because if I was a kid and I said, hey, if I was that crazy rich famous guy, like I would want to have a bunch of cool fucking cars. Like so I so I would do that. Like because not everybody gets to do that. Like if you're the person that gets to do that, you're kind of supposed to do it. Like that's if you if you want to if that really does speak to you and you know um, we've t I've talked to you about this before but muscle cars spe specifically ones from the 1960s and the early 70s they speak to me in some weird way man I could just stare at them like I have a 65 Corvette I walk around it sometimes at night when no one's around I just what's stare at it. What's your favorite muscle car? Like what's your most badass late 60s? The perfect probably car. that car, probably that 65, 65 Corvette. Corvette. Yeah, I, I walk around it when no one's around. I think I've driven the 69 Corvette. Is there a particular year that uh, just... 65 is uh, generation two, 69 is generation three, 69 is like the, it's even more curvy. They're both awesome, just awesome in different ways. But uh, I just love muscle cars for whatever reason. But, but the point is like, 
I like what I like. And if I can do what I want to do, I should do what I want to do. And it's not hurting anybody. And the thing is, like, I would do the Duncan podcast if no one was listening, right? right. If it was, if we were just starting to do a podcast together and uh, no one cared and it got like 2,000 views, which we did for yeah, years. For a long time, yeah. I would do it with Duncan and we would get high and we'd talk crazy shit about aliens and spaceships. And maybe, dude, maybe ideas are living life forms and they're inside your head and that's how things get made. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I've been just kind of morphed me and him together in that. 